like one little story I wanted to tell because it's the grossest thing and I wanted to see your face on mm-hmm. it. Uh, there was a woman, apparently in, near grave sites, there's a lot of bees. And this woman was in Taiwan and she was cleaning a, a relative's grave site and four bees flew into her eye and she didn't know. Oh, I heard about this. Did you see this? And she's like, her eyes started hurting and get, getting swollen. It's like, I don't know what's in there. And the doctors found the four bees completely alive and living in her eyeball. Yeah, I just don't understand how... You don't see bees flying into your eye? Yeah, like how you don't... F- four of them. Four! It wasn't one. But wasn't it like a special type of bee? Like they called it a special like thing? I'm getting sick thinking about it. It's insane to me, but yeah, I did hear about that. And also, like, it just reminds me when people are like, there's all these stories. Like, oh, I noticed this was happening. I noticed this was happening. And people don't get it seen to. Yeah. The second, like, my eye was, like, super, super swollen... I would go to the doctor because totally. it's your eyes. It's your like, eyeballs. If your anything happens to your eyes, like you lose your sight. Totally. And I just feel like <laughs> Good, you, very well said, Shane. Very well said. Know, it seems so simple, but yeah. like I don't get it because people put off things with their eyes a lot, and I think it's because people don't like eye doctors. No. Like they don't see it as as much of a necessity because it's like one of those things you only go to if you have contacts or glasses or yep. if something happens to your eye, I know. right? And so I've been when, an eye doctor since 2006. But that's what I'm saying. It's not like a doctor. Like it's, it's like same thing <laughs> it's with not like, like it's, it's, it's a not, doctor. I know, but it's like it's not like the doctor that people are like, I have to go to the doctor, or, you know, I'm sick. Right. I'm no, I know I'm sick. It's like, oh, this, my eye's kind of I bothering mean, me. You go to the dentist before you go to the eye doctor. And Absolutely. You can get fake teeth. But right. you can't get fake eyeballs. No, you can't. No. And like the whole thing just like it really creeps me out so bad. Um, but I remember a story recently where this guy had, oh, he was eating sushi every yeah. day. Did you hear that? Uh-uh. He ate sushi every day for lunch. He was in somewhere in California. I think he was in NorCal. He ate sushi every single day for lunch. He started, and? He started feeling sick. Um, it's just funny. I'm like, women with bees <laughs> and eyes. I just wanted to look up what it was called. Um, but... He was eating sushi every single day for lunch, and then he started feeling sick. Sweat bees. Sweat bees. Sweat bees. Yeah, that's why. So I, they go in your sweat ducts and they in eat in your, your tears. In your sweat glands, and they feed. <laughs> yeah. See? They yeah. feed They feed off of your tears. Yes. And you know, those bees, <laughs> do they feed <laughs> off your tears? Is Cody's a metaphor? No. <laughs> this is legit for real, Cody. <laughs> this, is, this is me at the end of an episode of This Is Us. A bee flies in my room and just starts feeding on my tears. This is legitimately what's happened. And when those bees come at your eyes, they have one song that they're going to play as soon as they hit your eye. <laughs> Boom. Feeding on your tears. That's eye insane. bees. <laughs> they're, That's they're called insane. Eye yeah, bees. they're attracted to sweat and sometimes land on people to imbibe perspiration. <laughs> Perspiration. Ugh. They also drink tears. <laughs> These are some seriously <laughs> the, emo bees. Th- this is legitimately what the back of the album of Stained says. We'll drink your tears <laughs> as you listen to our music. And sometimes we land on you to imbibe perspiration. <laughs> <laughs> You better watch out for these bees at Coachella because it's really hot. I don't want any bees flying in your perspiration. <laughs> Just keep your eyes closed the whole time and your ears open. That's all you need to do. Oh, my gosh. She said a gust of wind blew into her eyes and she just assumed it was dirt. Meanwhile, bees. Bees. <laughs> Don't if it's windy, stay in your house. That's these are yeah, all life lessons. Yeah, don't go outside in the wind. No, come on. <laughs> yeah, um, but we really quick finish up yeah. the story. He started feeling really sick, and he yeah. started like itching a lot. He's like itching a lot <laughs> after eating sushi. Yeah, he went to the doctor, and they ran a scan, and like literally, when they took a scan of his body, all they saw inside of him was little tiny parasites all over <laughs> his body. <laughs> Little worms everywhere, like like everywhere, his entire body. And they had to like flush him out little by little by little. Dude, it was, I saw the picture. It's like insane. Like everywhere, little worms in his whole body. And I it's guess like, like Prometheus. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he had gotten like listeria, which is like yeah. common, right? So that why they tell you when you're pregnant not to eat fish. Sure. Which I totally listened to, by the way. <laughs> um, I'm getting sushi <laughs> later. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah. But it's like, a, there's certain types of fish and stuff like that. But like, I think you, Nobody should eat raw fish as much as this person was. He was Got eating it. it every single day for yeah, lunch. That's not good. Which like also like broaden your horizons, <laughs> yeah. dude. Come on. Yeah. And I just that to me is weird. So if it, and it could happen to any of us if we ate that much fish. And it would take a really long time. So don't let it freak you out. So the next time you eat sushi, make yeah. sure that your body's ready to <laughs> <laughs> correct.